Welcome back to the Digital BGA YouTube channel. Last week, Jeff illustrated a fantastic video. It's titled Life Insurance Telesales in 2023 to 2024, The Changing Landscape. And if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest you go give it a watch. Jeff did a really great job of covering all of the ups and downs that we experienced in the life insurance industry. And also he made some predictions on what to expect going into 2024. So this week we want to ride off of those coattails and talk about things that we could do to set ourselves up for the best possible outcome for 2024. Josh has put together some things that we can implement into our daily practices on overcoming obstacles. I have some things I want to add as well, and we're going to get right into it and talk about overcoming obstacles to start off 2024 the right way. All right. So like David said, we want to just hit on a few of the things that we think you could do to not only prepare for 2024, but to help you when that situation arises in 2024, you know, move through it quickly, pivot quickly. We'll talk about what I mean by pivot, but basically just get off on the right track and get your business really booming quickly and help you not hesitate when the first you know obstacle does arrive in 2024 you know hopefully this video can you can look back on it and just you know make the move and move through that issue quickly so that it doesn't hold you up obviously with 2023 this was the year of innovation right the landscape changed so rapidly so fast I think faster than anyone was anticipating. Uh, I, I We knew that things were going to move fast and we knew tech was going to advance quickly, but I don't think that anyone was ready for how fast it was going to happen. And that's your note, first note here is being willing to abandon what doesn't work and replace old with new quickly. Adapting. Yeah, I think that this probably is the most important out of everything we'll talk about. Um in this yeah. video because in the life insurance industry in particular if you don't do this uh, i mean you can waste a lot of time and a lot of money on the wrong things so in a nutshell what david said is be willing to give up on some of the things you've been trying that aren't working you know if you've been trying a, a lead type or your own marketing tactic and it's still bleeding money um, and not working for you I know a lot of agents and in the boat that I was even in back then as an agent, it's so hard to just admit that you messed up or that the idea isn't that good, right? Because you've probably put in time, you put in money, um, it's you want to keep going until it works, but this is not the industry. It's really not even the era for any industry. Like this 2024 is not the year to sit on things that aren't showing any promise. It's you have to pivot quickly. Um, Nick and Jeff, I think, Digital BGA is a business that does this probably better than 90% of companies, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, for anybody watching this, you got to swallow your pride, let go of whatever you're trying. If it's not bringing you business, you have to move on to something that you know will, or you have to try something new. Um, you know, time time is of the essence in this industry. So you got to get moving and abandon those bad things that aren't working. And by bad, I don't mean bad. I just mean, if it sucks, it sucks. Move on, you know? Yeah. The definition of insanity, people have probably heard this before, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Yeah, I mean, in, in practical terms, I would say the biggest thing we see this with is um, marketing avenues and leads, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of agents will, they have to come up with a new marketing method. They have to um, continue trying a marketing method that isn't really netting great results because it's cheaper or because they're doing it themselves. Um, and a lot of agents want to do both things. They want to be the marketer and the, the salesperson. Other one is leads. Uh, agents tend to pivot leads a ton. You, you try this lead and because it's the cheapest option available with XYZ, you stick to it for way too long, even though it's not actually, you know, creating an ROI. So those are the two most practical examples of things I would say that if it's not working for you or if you can reflect on 2023 and it wasn't as good as it should have been, it's time to make a move and start doing what's actually going to impact your business in a positive way. When you break it down, these are kind of hyper specific examples too. We, when we say out with the old and in with the new, we could just be talking about your nine to five practices too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, did you spend a lot of 2023 trying to learn to be a marketer, right? When you're actually the most money in your business comes from sales, 
is this the year that we're out with the marketing and we're 100% in on sales? That's an, another example on a broad, you know, overview of your business. Like it's just time to do what's going to help your business and you the most, right? So you can take it as specific as you want or as broad as you want. The idea behind this tip for overcoming the obstacle is just understand if it's not working, be willing to swallow the pride, admit that it wasn't the best use of time, but don't continue wasting the time in 2024. Just scrap it and move on. So piggybacking off what we just talked about, you know, admitting that mistakes were made in 2023 or swallowing some pride for, you know, some time that might've been wasted, you know, part of the, the entire game of not only life insurance, but owning a business in general, or just life in general is, you know, having the mental toughness to do those things and to continue pushing each day to get better and pushing each day to tell yourself that you made those mistakes. So, you know, on point number two, David's going to go into an aspect of that that we also think is really important heading into the new year. Yeah. Yeah. What Josh is talking about is enhancing your mental resilience and toughness. Um, this for me, it, it goes right along with adaptation, right? Being able to handle the changing landscape. Some people, I know in my industry, visual effects and animation, things are happening so fast and lots of guys are just giving up because there's so much, it, it's like they're, they're drinking out of a fire hose. There's so much coming at them. There's so much that's changing and they're saying, hey, this is just too much for me. You got to be strong. You got to be able to say, hey, I understand things are happening rapidly. I'm going to change myself rapidly as well. Okay. You, you, you got to have the mental toughness to just not give up. Take a deep breath. It's okay. You're going to get through it and just keep moving forward every single day. And these are my personal, my, my personal opinions. They don't reflect anything from digital BGA. This is a David quote. Okay. I personally don't think there's enough resilient and tough people out there today. A lot of people give up easy. And I, I don't know what that is. We could talk about that at another time, but there is space for people to win right now. And if you're strong, if you have the resilience, you have the toughness to go out there and get it, you're going to be the winner because a lot of people give up. I have this written down to enhance mental resilience and toughness, prioritize cultivating a positive mindset by reframing challenges as opportunities for growth. Embrace setbacks as valuable learning experiences and focus on what you can control, channeling energy into actionable steps rather than dwelling on the uncontrollable. We can't control what's going to happen. All we can control is how we react to it. Go ahead, Josh. You're going to add something. If, if you're focusing on the things that you have enough time, there's only so many hours in a day, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to have the mental toughness to get rid of some of the, the time wasting things or even money wasting things that happened before, I think number two becomes a lot easier. I think the mental toughness when it's focused in on the activities that need to be taking place, a lot more growth will take place because you're not being pulled in 500 different directions or trying 500 different things. If you're just focused on sales, um, you know, your mental toughness needs to be, it's more like a, a professional sports player at that point. They have their sport, you know, the thing that they're focused on. If yours is sales, if it's calls that you're weak on right now, that's the only thing that you have to overcome. You know, I know that there's other aspects of the business, but my point is laser focus is also going to help with mental toughness because there's something to place it around. It's not all of these different things that you're trying to learn or become an expert at. It's just, this is what we're going to do. I have to get better at it. And you, you push, you know, if you want to be mentally tough in business and life insurance industry, you know, et cetera, you got to make time to build that, right? It doesn't just come because you're going to tell yourself you're tough or because you can hang up the phone and call the next prospect. I mean, that's better than a lot of agents will do. Yes. But you have to build that actual muscle, right? Like it doesn't, whether that's, <laughs> Yeah. For some people, that's going to be therapy. For some people, that's going to be just positive, you know, reflection in the mornings. For some people, that's going to be going to the gym. There's a lot of ways that you can build those kind of positive behaviors and what you consume media wise that's going to do it. The point is you have to have time to do it, which is another reason to go back to number one and number two again. Or this one, sorry, is if you're focused on so many things, you can't make time for some of these important things. There's everybody watching this has the same amount of hours in a day. So you got to laser focus. And if, you know, a positive mindset, mental toughness, and the whole point of what you've said on this, David, is what it is, you have to have time to do that. It doesn't just come to you. 
it doesn't come to really anybody, I don't think, without working on it. So you just need to make time for it. So our last one that we want to hit on here is kind of one of the things that probably seem a little backwards from what is said a lot in the insurance industry, I feel like. Um, but I think we believe it here at Digital BGA because we do it all the time. Um, and it's just, you know, listen to what you believe in will work and don't follow, you know, we go back to social media so much on these videos, like don't blindly follow Facebook groups and everything that you see from a specific producer on YouTube. You know, you don't have to always go try the newest thing. You know, if you think that you have, you know, a method that works or an idea that works, you need to listen to your gut a little bit more in 2024. Um, stick with something and really perfect it before jumping to the next thing. You know, avoid the, I would call it like the emotional jumps that a lot of agents have in this industry to, you know, you have a bad week on a lead type or your marketing tactics aren't working the way that you want. And it always tends to be this emotional gut, you know, quick reaction that you have to move and try something new or you have to back off what you're doing, even though your gut I know is telling you that this is, you know, the avenue of leads I should be working consistently for the whole year. But then, you know, you get a little bit of the money frights because that specific week it was rough compared to the week before but you've seen the data you have everything in front of you that tells you and your mind that this is the way to have the best 2024 possible you know make 2024 the year that you actually listen to that voice so to speak instead of making those really quick knee-jerk reactions that send you down a different path and those can waste months for a lot of agents i feel like they can really set an agent back from production um, this could be for other businesses as well, that those knee jerk reactions, even though your gut's telling you that you're in the right spot and you're doing the right thing, those, they can be huge time wasters and mental drainers. I feel like to go down those paths of trying 10 things because one thing had a, a bad stretch, right? Listening to you talk about this and also listening to our conversation over the past 30 minutes has just helped me, helped me to realize a final point that we should add to our list, which is really just time prioritization. Like it, you're, you're talking about um, how if somebody has a knee jerk reaction on something, they could waste months, right? Potentially not only waste months, but waste hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars in order to make the best decisions. We have to prioritize our time, right? Um, make, make sure that we're, we're spending time on, on the pro proper things. Uh, so uh, we're not going to get too deep into this, but I think time prioritization should be that last little cap thing in there. Just be conscious of what you're doing, whether you have a daily calendar or whatever it is, just be conscious of what you're doing in the day. Don't waste your time. Yeah. So to recap one out with the bad quickly and in with what works quickly this year in 2024 Two, get your mind, right? Do whatever that takes to do that. Go to the gym see a therapist, um, watch positive things as much as you can, whatever it takes, everybody's going to be different. Be positive, stop working on stuff that doesn't work and do what does work. Three, trust what you know is the best way to put that. Don't knee jerk react to everything in 2024. Go with, you know, the numbers that you've been looking at over the past, however many years and just double down on that and just make it the biggest year you can. And to do all three of those things, you know, watch the clock, get a planner, you know, figure out where your time is going in your day and make the best use of it. That's not all of the things you can do in 2024 to kill it. But if you just do those things, it will make a difference, I would say. I mean, those are four things I think get forgot so much that even doing one of those would probably make a difference in 2024. But that's what we have for you in this video. Yep. Love it. And again, if you guys haven't watched our video last week of Jeff's 23, 2024 recap and predictions, go watch that. We'll link it again here if you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video. And also make sure you like, subscribe and follow that. That helps us out a ton. Drop comments if you like some of these tips, if you want to hear more things. We need that feedback from you guys. But again, thank you for joining us and we will see you in the next one.